All right, I'm here with uh, SVSU head coach Ryan Brady. Coach, just finished up media day interview. Um, start off, just you know, how how are you feeling with uh, the coaching staff and the players coming in? We're a couple weeks out from the season, getting rolling here. Yeah, I feel great. It's been a great day. Obviously, we're here talking about football, and so uh, that even gets the juices flowing even more. Um, and so that's been great. I've had a great time with uh, Connor and Mike all day, and so. Uh, but I feel great about my coaches and uh, my players. We've spent a lot of time. Um, together this week and it's been a lot of fun and so just finishing up our last week of uh, summer conditioning and, and we'll take a little bit of a uh, week off and then we'll come back ready to roll on August 10th. Um, we mentioned some of the new coaches in the media day just take a minute again to talk about some of those new guys and how you feel getting them before spring ball and getting to see those new coaches interact with your players uh, through spring and then through the spring game uh, what does that what do, what do those new coaches kind of bring to this team to maybe hopefully get you guys to that next level? Yeah, there's a lot of them. I don't know if we got enough time to go through them all unless we may be here until it's dark. That's okay, because um, I could talk all day about them because we've got a great staff. Um, you know, Tony Bryan uh, has joined the staff. He's uh, coaching our running backs. He did an outstanding job. He's a high-energy guy, great relationship guy, and so um, our running backs really have enjoyed uh, the transition um, with him, and he's did a really, really good job. Um, Coach Mike McClanathan's uh, our offensive line coach, our run game coordinator, so he's, he's an inheriting very good situation um, with our offensive line, and uh, that transition's been phenomenal. Um, you know, the players were involved in uh, getting to pick their coach, and so, um, you know, they, they were uh, excited, and, um, you know, we made sure that it was the right fit, and, and Mike's doing an outstanding job. And, um, and then we've added Davis Lewandowski as our tight end coach, um, and Davis is, uh, he's, he's good at everything that he does, and, um, again, he's another guy that's just uh, got great personal skills, um, great people skills, and um, you know we've got some tight ends that um, you know are returning that are really good players, and so and he's he's elevated those guys and made them better um, throughout spring ball, and so those guys have appreciated that, um, and so he really gives a unique blend where he he knows the passing game, being a former wide receiver, uh, and having coached tight ends, he knows the run game, so he really uh, provides the full package as a tight end coach, um, and so that's really cool. And, um, we've got a lot of new young coaches, Thor, Thor Daly's an assistant offensive line coach, and Zach Stelter, uh, assistant wide receiver coach, so we've got a couple of young uh, GA guys that are going to do are doing a great job and uh, really adding a lot of value. Um, and then you know defensively, you know adding Brandon Clayton was huge. Um, that was a big get for us, um, and he's did an outstanding job. And um, same thing, you know Micah and Alfred and Brandon and you know the second they, all those guys get to be a part of uh, making sure that that was the guy they wanted, um, and as well as the coaches. Um, and so um, you know the ownership is on the players, um, and so. To me, like it's the, the coaches and the relationship between the coach and the players, the most important part of what we do. Um, and so, uh, I know our players appreciate being involved in that process, and they, I know they appreciate, uh, you know, the efforts that I've uh, put forth to bring in the best people um, from all across the country here to come here to Saginaw Valley. Um, and so, but we've got uh, we've got a familiar face in Mike Becking back, uh, helping uh, Coach Clayton with the defensive backs, and and Jed Harsley is. Uh, helping out uh, Coach Putnam with the linebackers. And then we've also got an assistant D-line coach uh, with Dean O'Brien, who's also come from Northwest Missouri State, who's doing a really good job, uh, as well as Matt Johnson helping out the defensive line. So um, we feel like we've got a star-studded staff. Uh, transition a little bit to the players and the team you mentioned. I know a word that you mentioned just in our talks is depth. Uh, how do you feel about the depth of your team coming into this season? Yeah, we're deep in a lot of areas. Obviously, you're old, there's always a position group or two that you always have a little bit of concern, and so we're no different than any other team. Um, and so even when you bring in new guys, they still have to learn um, and adapt and uh, get comfortable and confident and learning a new system. And uh, you know, camp's only two weeks long this year. Uh, it's just the way the calendar has uh, fallen with school starting and um, the season. And so you know, there's not a lot of time. And so uh, you've got to be able to come in and learn fast and be a quick adapter. But um, we feel good about the depth. Um, you know, we, we basically returned just about everybody from last year, and everybody's a year older and a year wiser and a year bigger and a year stronger. So um, excited about the development, what we've seen, and the confidence um, from the players. And, uh, you know, the, uh, the example that we talked about yesterday with uh, some of the young players is like, wow, I, I, I got here like 11 months ago, and the growth in 11 months, I just, they're like, I just can't even believe it, coach. And I'm like, yeah, wait, wait till you're like Mike and you've been here for going on your sixth year. Uh, and they're like, man, that's crazy. And so uh, uh, really excited, but we, we've got to stay healthy. That is uh, 
you know, last year was tough. We got banged up uh, pretty good and on some key positions. And, you know, when you catch the injury bug, that's tough to overcome. And so, uh, you know, our goal is to stay healthy and, um, and get it rolling. Um, the two guys you brought with you, senior leaders on this team, Connor Craigiel on the offensive line. I talked to him about the depth of the offensive line that we talked about four guys returning that have significant playing time. that are you know, starters who either saw most of the action last year or in Tyus Thompson's case, season ending injury, but he did start two years before that. Um, same thing with Micah Kretzinger. I talked to him about, you know, him and, you know, his other two linebackers who are on the field with him, Alfred and Brandon, how all that is coming back. Um, what is it, how, what does it help you do or how does it help your job as a coach when you have leadership like that that's on this team that gets to come back and lead your young players? Yeah, it's huge, you know, and um, that's the goal. You know, we took over um, in transforming uh, this program, um, you know, four and a half years ago. Um, you know, that's, that's the number one priority is to develop great leadership. Um, and that takes time. Um, you recruit new players, you develop them, and you're not just developing them as football players, you're developing as leader, leaders, as men, um, and so the, the growth is everywhere, um, and we really focus on the total development here, um, and so it's been a process, it's been a journey. The cool part about, um, you know, Mike uh, um, and Connor coming back for their final year is it's, that's, that's what, that's the growth they're going to get is it's now their team, it's now, they're now the face of the program, they're not just leading their position group or the offense or the defense, they're leading the team. And so it's a different dynamic for them. They haven't felt like they could do that in the past because they thought, okay, this is this is someone else's like team. It's their team now. And so we've got a lot of guys that feel that way. Um, and that's just because of the time served. We've got a lot of guys that have served a lot of time here. Um, and so we've, uh, last year we played a lot of young guys and um, you know, those young guys are feeling really confident now that they've been through some wars and they've got some experience, they've learned some hard lessons and um, that they've got a lot of confidence with our training that they're going to be uh, put in a great position to be successful. Uh, shifting to the quarterback position, two, two quarterbacks who, have, I, you know, from my perspective, I'm not a coach, but they had really good spring ball. They looked really good. Um, talk about that position and that battle and how excited you are for those two guys. Yeah, I love those two guys. Two guys are great kids. They're great friends. Uh, I love how they support each other. I mean, that's what's really cool about this. Um, you know, and they, they, they both are focused on themselves and not focused on what the other one's doing. Um, and that's great. And the team believes in both of them. Um, and I believe both guys will help us win. We'll need both of them this year. Um, and so I, I, I believe it some way, shape, or form. I don't know how it'll shake out, um, but I'm really excited about that situation. Uh, I'm really excited about having some continuity at that position. Um, you know, every year that I've been here, we've had a different quarterback. And so uh, finally we've got a couple high school guys and you know, our plans to, to develop them, grow them into being uh, the face of the program and the leaders, and uh, hopefully they'll lead us to a national championship. Uh, for some of your young guys, who are some of those young players that we haven't really met yet that you're pretty excited about coming into camp? Yeah, you know, guys like uh, Terrence Brown and Adam LaDuke last year had both big years as redshirt freshmen. You know, Adam LaDuke, uh, seven and a half sacks, Terrence Brown, freshman of the year. You know, those, those two guys uh, busted on the scene. I'm really excited to see what those two guys are going to be, um, you know, 12 months later. Um, wow, uh, the growth that I've seen from both of those guys, like they're different people. Um, they're, they got a different mindset, they have a different attitude, they have a different confidence level, so that's really cool. Um, but we've got guys like, you know, Sean Hodges is a, a defensive back to keep an eye on. Uh, already a great leader as a, as a true freshman um, and the influence that he has and the way that guys like Micah and Alfred and Brandon um, look to him and listen to him and the way the team listens to him, uh, I think is different, different than I've seen in a long time. Um, you know, we've also got, um, you know, our boy Stinky, uh, David Collins, who uh, also is a defensive back who I'm excited about and can't wait to watch. And, um, but, but Christian Ellison's a year older, DJ Volds, Jasper Beeler, Eli Gordon's a year older. Like, I'm really excited about our secondary and I love the bond and the connection um, that they have uh, as well. And, and then we've got four, four guys on the defensive line that all come back. and. Um, you know, led by Harold Irby and Carson Brenny, who will both be seniors, and, and Leonard Henry, who's also a senior. So we've got three seniors on the defensive line uh, that have played a lot of downs here. Um, and so that's, uh, that's really exciting as well. And, um, and then on the offensive side of the ball, you see guys like Zarek Zelinski, wide receiver, uh, who will be a redshirt freshman, who's did a lot of, a lot of really good things uh, this summer. And uh, we're, we're excited about seeing Tony Kennedy. And um, so there's, uh, there's, there's good, good, some good young receivers that 
we're excited to see you get out there um, and run around. Uh, transition a little bit just to uh, training camp coming up in a, two, a couple weeks, like you mentioned. Uh, what is something that you and the coaching staff are kind of emphasizing for camp to make the team better and take that next step? Yeah, really, it's communication. Um, you know, to be a great defensive team, you got to have elite communication. And Coach Clayton's brought a, a new system and a new new terminology, new language, and a new way of communicating. So we've got to communicate um, at an elite level, and our players like that because now it's um, you know they're they're making the call to get us in the right play, and so there's, it's a check-based system, and so our players have to all be in tuned and making the right checks and making sure everyone gets the call, and um, and then the same thing offensively, like. We've, we've just, uh, we've got to be extroverts. We've got to be talkers. We've got to be great communicators. We've got to provide lots of energy offensively and support one another. And I think our offensive lines did a really good job of that. We've got some tight ends that are really, um, have really stepped up their leadership level. Guys like Tyler McCoon, Mitch DeBrincat, Jalen Williams. Um, excited about what that, what that group's going to bring. Eric Kraft's been a great leader um, for us. He was our most improved player last year. Um, and so Ronnie Folks has started for two years here. He's in the slot. He'll be a senior. Uh, he's dynamic. He's had a great offseason um, in every area, really improved his leadership. Um, and so uh, really excited. We, we, we've got a lot of pieces. We've got a lot of weapons. And, um, you know, the, the staff and the players, we're, we're excited to get to go. Uh, last question I got for you, Coach. But um, talked about the schedule this year, seven road games, only four home games, uh, playing some familiar opponents. Uh, Winona State came to our place last year. We're going to their place this year to start. You know, Indianapolis, we've played for the last couple of years. Northwood's always a big game. But uh, what, do, what do you like about this schedule despite only having four home games? Yeah, I like, uh, I like the competition. I mean, I love, I love playing against the best. And so uh, I'm, fired, I'm fired up about that. But uh, I, I mean, I'm excited, about, excited to get on the road because I get to spend time with my guys. Um, being on the road, traveling. Um, we got some long trips, so we've got a couple uh, two-day trips, and so you know it's like going on vacation, getting on the bus, going to hotels, going to walkthroughs, watching film, swimming, hanging out, eating. Um, you know that is, uh, I think, the one of the best parts about um, what we do um, as coaches is is uh, there's no distractions. It's just you and the guys, and all it is is football the whole time. And so um, we've got a lot of cool environments that we're going to go play in, and. Um, I think our guys are ready for the challenge. Appreciate it, Coach, and good luck this season. Yeah, thanks, Corey. Yeah.